Hey you all, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today we're gonna take some of your comments and questions in our comments and questions corner section. This is where I try to give you all guys the same respect you've given me and uh, participation. And I wanna thank you all for your input, your comments and your participation. And I uh, wanna respond to some of the things you, you're saying out there in the community. So, um, as we can see here, guys, we have uh, uh, been blessed with Mr. Naga Tribe commenting on our page. <laughs> and one of his comments is, Electronium will be the boss coin. So that sounds very exciting. So what, what does it mean to be the boss coin? Uh, is the, does the boss coin mean the coin? The number one coin? Or does he just mean like the top 10? So I'm gonna have to ask Mr. Naga Tri what, what exactly does it means to be the boss coin? But if he, if it means being bigger than Bitcoin, uh, well, hey, that sounds pretty reasonable. Uh, Bitcoin's market capitalization right now is under 200 billion. Um, that's very small. Uh, I could see Electronium uh, at some stage being that. So I think that's a very good, <laughs> that's a very good uh, uh, comment to make. Uh, let's see what else we got here, guys. I'm going to be actually reading two off of uh, another screen here. That way I don't have to keep licking and, and moving through the screens. We got a comment here from uh, one of our viewers named Crypto Cowboy. And thank you for your, your comments, Crypto Cowboy. He says, I said the same thing, and he's, he's referring to um, comments about Electronium having its own exchanges as we had the debacles with trying to, uh, some of the problems with, you know, with Binance, trying to get listed on Binance and being added to various exchanges. Uh, you know, uh, he basically says that um, he totally agrees that Electronium needs and could have its own crypto exchange. That is huge. We wouldn't need to go anywhere else to purchase our Electronium. And I do agree with that. Uh, I mean, um, and uh, some of the some of the questions I take won't be on this won't be on this screen. I, I have another screen I'm going around, so uh, they might be on other videos, but. Uh, I agree a hundred percent. You know, when I look at exchanges, it's very convenient that if a lot of people have their money there, all they got to do is exchange from move it just over to their neighbor there uh, within the same exchange and, and move their money from from one place to another. But what I found though is that when people uh, see opportunity, opportunity potentially like Electronium being inconvenienced a little bit moving money over to someplace else i don't think that's going to stop electronium's volume from being any any uh, significantly more than what it's going to be and i and i say that because when they see that the opportunities with electronium is so big and that's why i feel that our main concern should be marketing uh, now our tech is limited uh, as we've gotten uh, uh, finally gotten our, our own blockchain. One of the big issues with uh, Electronium from the start was that it was a marketing coin, but it didn't have the valuation and the technology within it to uh, be valued as high as it was. So um, Electronium gets their own blockchain, is moving forward with the partnerships, doing a lot of things to make it more valuable, as well as have the technology with it, uh, having its own uh, blockchain, as well as the instant payment uh, system that they've put in play. So a lot of the complaints earlier about Electronium uh, have been, a, uh, been addressed or, or are being addressed. And so why would it be necessary with Electronium having so much reach already and being as big as it is or going to expand as it's meant to be this mass adoption coin, why would it even be necessary to trade with others on some centralized exchange that somebody just created uh, when oftentimes 
what these exchanges bring us is uh, marketing, <laughs> letting us know. Uh, in fact, exchanges pretty much, uh, um, do, they have these packages, many of them, where you can pay extra money to be highlighted, uh, you know, as a coin that's being traded. So that's just another form of marketing, putting you in the forefront. But if your whole thing is about marketing and you're already reaching millions upon millions of people, uh, you're kind of exempt from having need of that. <laughs> you know, if you all understand what I'm saying. So uh, you could create your own marketing within that environment and have uh, people find you. And all you would need at that point is an easy way to uh, uh, buy the electronium and move it. Hence, next exchange, and maybe there. I believe we got some questions or comments about next exchange, and we do from uh, a viewer here, Yvonne Oxum. And Yvonne says that Electronium has been listed on the next exchange for a long time now, and they've said that prior to Electronium's announcement. Or they mean it in that in that way. So that's something new to me. I don't, as far as I, I haven't done deep research on the next exchange, but I do know that uh, if I'm not mistaken, they did an ICO around the end of last year, and by the time they got up and running, uh, I don't think they've been uh, running as an exchange for more than a few months now. And I, again, I could be mistaken, guys. I, I briefly glanced over some information. Uh, but a lot of the announcements around the community and what we're finding is that let, this was uh, supposed to be a new listing. And uh, they've also said that we've been listed on the next exchange a long time now. But if we've been listed on the next exchange a long time now, where's news? Why has there been news that's just been broken to us um, this weekend about um there being some complications listing Electronium, uh, but they are uh, r working profusely on it to, to get it listed, although this is a, a new exchange. So if that were the case from Mr. Yvonne Oxum, looks like Electronium would already be, have, be integrated into the next exchange and not be trying to do it now. But anyway, thank, thanks for your, your question uh let's see what what else somebody else is saying um uh, this is interesting objects one says objects one they should add credit card payments so that's kind of interesting you know it, it, a lot of um cryptocurrencies have moved you know on with these like debit cards or uh, cards that you could, um, you know, basically, uh, be able to just send you be able to send your electronic over to these and you have this line of credit. And I, and I guess that does make quite a bit of sense, guys. Uh, if you're going to have the payment processors in, in, in mer with the merchant shops and, uh, wouldn't it just, uh, be easier to just have this, debit card this credit card that does the same thing that how it's going to process uh with the instant payment system does pretty much the same thing that that's doing anyway but you just have the card instead i guess pretty much the same thing i guess it, it feels pretty much the same as having a card right as long as the merchants have the uh the um the uh the devices to uh to to be in order to process them but um you know I, I guess as well if you have the credit card uh you could have where you know you could use it it could be converted to cash dollars and you could use it much like uh you know you use any of your credit cards or mastercards or visa maybe they can work out some kind of deal with mastercard or or something like that but that that sounds interesting i wouldn't be against something like that think it'll just be all a uh, part of uh, electronium's uh, ex expansion let's see what else we um, let's see what else we got here as far as questions gonna try to get to as many as I possibly can 
Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's still some commentary about having our own exchange. Uh, let's see what else. Let's try to get to somebody else and see uh, if there's any I've missed uh, on some other videos. Let's see what we got here. Take a few more questions. And again, guys, uh, if I've... Um, the, the questions I've missed... Um, uh, all your all your comments and questions are very much appreciated and uh, I will try my best to um, get to get to those on the next video as I'm scoping out a few older ones now but uh, I got this comment from mr. Rick Viper model and he's saying that if ETN goes any lower we are cursed so he's talking about uh, you know the price of electronium and uh, from what I've seen with electronium worst case scenario no matter what's happening uh, some people might have, have taken issue with some of the problems we've had being listed on exchange just seems like we've had a, a run of some bad luck when it comes to uh, people integrating electronium because it's not an easy token to integrate uh, not like ER20 tokens and things like that um, and uh, because of that, maybe some people have been frustrated. Kind of see the electronic price go up a little bit, you know, right before we're scheduled to be listed on an exchange. And then something happens. We get the announcement from them where they go, oh, we've, you know, come to, into these technical difficulties and the listing will have to be delayed. And some people get a little bit upset about that. Uh, because it's happened to us so many times in one way or the other, or we've been uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, just a little bit of string of bad luck. Uh, we thought we were going to be listed on a big exchange like Binance. That didn't happen. And uh, then we had the situation with Coin Beanie as well, or Co Coin uh, Benet, or, or however, however it's pronounced. And, and, and so we've had several holdups when we were excited to get listed, and, and, and that can be annoying. It, it can. Uh, and so, um, you know, I, I think his comment was a lot in regard to what that kind of thing does to the price of electronium, uh, you know, uh, when it, it, it needs to start its uh, rise up. Uh, you know, uh, had slightly dipped under one cent several weeks ago. It's, it's come past that with a lot of the exciting news that's been going on, although much of it hasn't come to fruition as of yet. <laughs> so my thoughts on that are, yes, uh, let's be more thoughtful and mindful, uh, maybe the exchanges in the Electronium team about making these announcements. I know that getting out information and getting out news to us to make sure that uh, something is being done um, the communication is open is very important and it's very important to the community to hear that but maybe be a little bit more vague with what's going on uh, there have been uh, announcements made before the where they've been very cautious and said uh, they won't tell us exactly what's going on but we can possibly expect something good on such and such a date or soon maybe that'll be enough uh, it's it's better than having to deal with FUD and deal with just a lot of the a lot of the other negative energy that's come Electronium's way sometimes through or in many cases through no fault of their own. Um, and so I think that might be the best way to handle it because news does cre can create price declines uh, as well as price rises, right? Um, and so. Uh, Maybe one way to handle that would be to, yeah, let us know there is something coming up. But specifically what that is, uh, we don't know as of yet, but it should be good news. And maybe just leave it as that. <laughs> and that way we can kind of wonder about it, have a good feeling about it. If people want to go ahead and try to jump in Electronium before that, buy more before that, do that. 
but without kind of putting ourselves in a jam and then, uh, you know, dealing with a frustrated community and having to, you know, try to now deal with uh, several things at once. So uh, that's all I want to say about that. Guys, uh, just trying to uh, uh, give some comments and, and let you all know that I do read your comments and, and your comments are very important to me. And although we're a small channel, uh, I do appreciate uh, your thoughts, your concerns, your questions, uh, your participation in Electronium, which I believe will pay off, will be this great coin that I know it could be, provided it doesn't take the route of some coins I felt the same way about in the past that have literally just shot themselves in the feet for no reason at all. <laughs> so if it doesn't do that, and it keeps doing, uh, moving in a direction and does what it's good at, which is marketing. You know, it's okay to be a marketing coin, to have that as your main thing. I know everybody's obsessed with tech, but in the, in, in the crypto space, tech alone doesn't win wars. I know the tech guys want to keep telling you that, and I, I know they, they want to go work in and build systems and keep us believing that but to have the mass adoption to have regular joes uh finding this stuff important and having use cases and reason to reasons to really use this stuff besides what they're doing already in the interim uh we're gonna need uh, uh ways to reach these people other than just tech whether that be marketing or psychologically or however you want to look at it or whatever you want to call it. It's going to take more than just a bunch of fancy technology and uh, things of that nature. People, uh, human beings are complicated. <laughs> they aren't simple. Uh, logical choices and decisions don't always make sense. We are also feelers. We do a lot of feeling. That's why in many markets, there is a herd mentality. There is a panic when people do panic sales that makes everybody else sell, even though the value of the underlying product or security is still there. Uh, it hasn't went any place. The only thing that has happened is uh, we followed a bunch of panic, panic sellers. And so that same psychology that causes people to react how they react is the type of approach we're going to have to also use in the cryptocurrency space. And it's OK for Electron to be labeled the marketing coin. Um, you know, as I said earlier, initially it was it was just labeled that with no tech to back it up. It was just a, a, a bag of empty promises. But it's shown that it can incorporate tech at levels that nobody else has done. And uh, but since it's done that, it's all right to step back and say, well, we were good as a marketing coin. Let's do that because that's what we need right now in the crypto space. That's all I want to say, guys. Again, thanks for your questions and comments. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, take care.